All right, guys, we're getting ready to place in service the new IFAKs, Individual First Aid Kit, or IFAKs. Most of it's pretty simple, bandaging um, the triage tags that we talked about, as well as the Israeli bandage that we went over in class, and the uh, cat tourniquets that we went over. The Israeli bandages are pretty easy. They're just the compression bandages that we talked about with the cleat. Uh, you open it up, has a clear package, and it's, uh, inside that clear package is the Israeli bandage itself. Okay, when you pull it out, Remember, it looks just like this. You have your roll with the bandage and the cleat. You find the boo-boo. You place the cleat over the boo-boo. That wrap goes into the cleat and you pull back. Once you pull back, that adds the torsion. And then we continue to wrap all the way around. Once we get that wrap all the way finished, take that clip, that clip secures into the bandage, and you're done. Make sure we keep good compression on it. We're not, again, we're not trying to make this a tourniquet. We're trying to keep compression on that wound so we can keep all the blood inside the person instead of letting it out. Um, again, if it starts to bleed through the compression bandage, just throw another bandage on top of it. Just like any other bandage we do, once we put the bandage in place, we don't take it off. Um, if we have any type of spurting, um, arterial bleeds, or just a lot of blood coming out at one time, that's when we want to switch to the tourniquet. Um, we have an amputation. We have a large amount of blood flow coming out. We want to switch to the tourniquet. Again, like the guy said in the video, this, this is for those, oh my God, if I don't do something now, this person is going to die type wound. Um, if in the event that we need to use it on ourselves, it's very simple. Okay, we pull the red tab after we open it up. Sling it on wherever the issue is. Okay, cinch it tight. And then we're going to use that windlass. Remember that stick. And we're going to turn that stick until the bleeding stops. Once the bleeding stops, we tuck it into that little plastic piece right there. Bring that back around. And the white tab goes over top. Okay, very simple. We need to, for some reason, can't get through the edge of the, the limb. Um, we can take it apart, just like a, uh, a belt, okay? We're gonna wrap it around that limb. All we do is re-thread back through that buckle, okay? Again, really simple. Buckle, slide it in the hole, okay? And then just like before, just tighten it up best as you can to add tension turn the windlass until the bleeding stops tuck it in bring the band over that helps hold the windlass in place and then the time band goes across the top if you got time you have the ability write the time on there it helps out the doctors and the medics if not it's not a big deal again another little streetwise tip if you don't have anything and all you have is the individual's blood make sure we try to make a mark on that person so that the medics and the doctors know that they need to be looking for a tourniquet uh, again what I all, anytime I've ever done one get a bit of blood mark a T on their forehead somebody's gonna look for a tourniquet some of the important things in this kit are gonna be your triage tags Israeli bandages and your tourniquets the big three big things remember we're trying to cut down the number of people that don't get to go home so these are the three things that are gonna be the biggest things that we're gonna be able to use to help people um, You'll also see in inside that you'll have the you'll have Israeli bandage, a tourniquet, um, some H bandages, some compressed H bandages, some cling. This is not a um, ACE bandage. Okay, this is kind of like a a wrap, like a tape, but it has no adhesion. The wrap itself just sticks to itself. A triangular bandage some gloves, some tape, a small tourniquet. This is a lot like those tourniquets that we had in the green boxes. A quick clot um, bandage. We can throw this on there and wrap it up with this and it's kind of like a compression bandage, okay? Some scissors, your tags, 
quick note on the tags, guys. Again, this is super simple. Green, walking wounded. Don't even waste your time on them. Point them to where they need to go and send them on their way. The yellow are the people that are injured, but they can, they're not going to die if we don't hurt them. Okay? Um, broken arms, broken legs. They're injured. They just cannot move on their own. Okay? The red is if we don't immediately help them, they're going to die. Okay? So these are people we're going to have to try to get to the quickest. Um, and black is they're either dead or they're um, very close to dead. Uh, check them for breath for 10 seconds, no longer than 10 seconds. If they're not breathing, go on. Okay? That's all we're doing. Um, so again, dead, need immediate assistance, can delay their care, and walking wounded. If you forget how to check for these people, they're all right here on the tag. Um, you can see right there on the tag. Okay, green, minor, black, morgue, red, immediate, respirations are over 30. Their capillary refill is taking longer than two seconds. Their mental status is unable to follow simple commands, right? Okay, those are all your red people. And the yellow is any other injuries, okay? Any other injuries that keep them from, from moving, all right? So if their respirations are under 30, we're good. If their capillary refill is under two seconds, they're good. Their mental status is, um, they're able to comprehend what's going on, they're good. But they have some other injury, then we need to mark them yellow. Um, if you forget that, guys, it's on the tag, okay? It's on the tag. Go ahead and use that. It's okay. Stuff's going to happen. It's going to be a crazy, hectic event. Use the tag as a quick little refresher. Um, other than that, guys, they're around. Um, you'll be informed. We plan on putting them on the reception desks, basically anywhere there's going to be a first aid kit. So reception desk, 20th Street Dock. Um, there'll be one in the Renault trailer and we'll have them in our bags as well so in the event that something does happen we'll be able to pull this bag pull this bag from our bag toss it to you and say hey go get to work and you have everything you need to do to be an effective uh first responder on the scene thank you very much guys for all your hard work i pray to god we never have to use this but if we do we now have it to help you out thank you very much